All right, everybody. Got a brand new deer customer today. I don't know if you want to put your name out there or not. Jordan's fine. Jordan's. Okay, this is Jordan's fine. No, no just, I know, no, I know. Jordan. Anyway, he's killed a once in a lifetime deer. And I, I mean, it's no joke. I've cut up at this point over, I've been a part of cutting up over 4,000 deer in my life. I've never seen this before. For whatever reason, this deer, it's a deer in velvet. And, you know, you can't tell right now. But the story was it had a pecker and no, uh, <clears throat> it had a penis and no testicles. But we're way late in the year. The neck is not swelled up at all. The body's big. And as y'all can see, this is in plum, plum, that's woolly, okay? This is in plum velvet right here. Now, there's a couple things could have happened. Either it somehow got castrated by a coyote or a T post or something, something happened. Or what I think was more likely was a hermaphrodite. I think it had some female organs in it and just one the one male organ sticking out. But y'all, this this is this is more rare than a piebald or a melanistic or anything. And you still have had there's a little bit of gif. I know y'all can't feel this it at home, really but got it. yeah, that one's really got it. Hopefully y'all see that horn flexing. Y'all, this this is crazy. I've never seen nothing like this. But y'all tell us how long and thin that nose is. That ain't about this size should not have that long thin of a neck and it should not have that skinny of a neck y'all it's full rut we got deer with necks like daggum softball or not softballs daggum volleyballs and beach balls right now y'all this is something completely out of the normal but either way i figured i'd share that with y'all and i guess congratulations to thank you, you, buddy. you thank you hopefully y'all enjoyed that freaky stuff and we'll see you on the next video